Hello, night owls. Do, 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 do. Hi, Jen. I made Marion. How are you? Hello, hello. I'm doing good. I'm glad you're doing good too, dear. Can you guys hear that music and stuff in the background? I hope not. Because Kim has Kim is playing his music loud and oh Jim, bless your heart. I cut my grass this morning and I think my oh yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. That's that'll do it for sure. That will do it for sure, mowing the grass. Hey Chris. You guys, if you missed my uh, premiere, just that I premiere, try to get in there and watch it. Beginning of the month is when we really need to um, get as many views as we possibly can. Okay. Uh Carla, can you shut, can you quiet that down a little bit? I'm trying to do a live. They're both very loud in there. Who's ready for, for the eclipse tomorrow? I'm excited. You know, we won't see another one like that. That good. We, and in our lifetime, there'll be more, but there won't be any as good as, I really love this punch I'm making, by the way. Uh, the visuals of that, the um, eclipse. Oh, you know what I need to do is go to the YouTube side and and uh, see what's going on over there. Let me see. If anybody can, if you guys hear any, any music, let me know because I need to uh, try to quiet those boys down. I can hear it very well. Just don't want to get in trouble by YouTube because they are really cracking down on everybody. Cracking down, cracking the whip. We're on the YouTube side. We're gonna put that. Okay. All right. Well, we do. We have. We have. Uh, we have flowers blooming, we had Easter lilies and all that junk. 
And of course, we had a, we had a frost the other night. So now everything's dead. <laughs> Colin, can you turn that down a little bit? Oh, turn that down a little bit. Live. And tell your dad to turn his music down. Turn that stuff down, brother. Him so they're listening to his old funky. Kim, you're too loud. Oh, God. I'm telling you, that man's losing it. Kim, turn down the music. They're listening to his 1970s. I'm going to have to call him on the phone. And I bet he don't have the uh, phone with him. Because it is. Can you guys hear it? Kim! Sorry, guys. Turn it down, Kim. I'm trying to do a live. Oh, my God. It's crazy. You're in a bed bug. Oh, you don't have nothing yet? Uh, I haven't planted any flowers or anything like that, but our trees are... They got froze from that frost. So they're all ugly and stuff. But that happens every year for us, you know. God, Colin, whatever Colin's watching. Hey, Colin, that's got some foul language. You need to turn that down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my word. They are just too wild and... Everybody does their own thing. I'm in the living room. Colin's in his room. Kim's in his room. We're all just all over the house. But anyway, I thought I would just pop on. And you guys like my little owl I found up there drinking a coffee? <laughs> I looked that up and I thought I'll use that as my thing, as my uh, little avatar for the live. Hi, Carrie. Oh, you know what I did? I went to the YouTube side to do the, um, to drop the, to pin the link. And then Kim, Colin, I heard that and didn't even do it. Okay, wait a minute. I got to do it on StreamYard first. Yeah, they do. They do. For sure. Oh, sure. Okay, that's the link. And then I'll go over here to YouTube side. And I'll paste it at the top. It's my power here to turn that down. Do, 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 do. Where'd it go? I thought I, oh, I didn't send it up. That's why. <laughs> that's why I couldn't paste it. Okay, where am I? Oh, I forgot to turn the dog on. Hearts off. Well, go ahead. Let's just turn the hearts off. Just a second. Be there in a second, Care Bear. Whoever's up there, I got to go into customization. Turn off the live reactions, which is the heart on the side. Okay, let's save that. Care Bear, how are you? How do you do? How do you do? Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, no, I forgot what else I was going to do. Something else. Um, oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to paste that. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, come and bell it. I had a bad night last night. Oh, no. What happened? A new computer crash after I went off you and went to set up. Oh, just I used my old new computer. I had to go back on my old one. Oh, boss. 
The last time I was on with you. Now, why am I echoing? Oh. YouTube? Do I hear an echo? A little bit. Let me make sure. Oh, my volume's not loud down. Okay. There we go. There we go. So I'm back on my old one. Oh, man, that's a pain in the butt, ain't it? Yep. So I'm not saying nothing to my workers. Huh? I'm not going to say nothing to them. Oh. Yeah, I know you're just having a hard time getting your picture to show up. Yeah. No, the camera crashed. That's terrible. It was a brand, brand, was a brand new, new one. Oh, gosh. You know what I did? Um, I had a computer. So I'm oh, going to buy one of those cameras. Or I'll go look behind me, behind my back, and go see what box it has my camera. Yeah, I have a, I have a camera that you plug it into the USB port, and you just clip it on the top of the laptop. Yep. Like, and it works. And I used you have to use that one because I um dropped my dropped the computer. Gosh, this was about four years ago. I mean, I go through laptops. Well, like I we'll sit it here, or tape it here, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you. That's no fun. No, no fun at all. So I was up since 3 o'clock till 5.30. We're trying to work on it. Oh, gosh. I just woke up at um, 8.44. Well, I slept. Uh, I went to bed about 5.30 this morning. Finally went to sleep and uh, slept till 2 o'clock. We didn't have any coffee. We hadn't had any coffee for a couple of days because... Colin, no, nobody wants to go to the store. You know, when a, when a mother, and I told him this, if I get down where I can't do anything, when the woman in the family gets down and she can't do anything anymore, the whole house goes to the dogs. Yep. And uh, if I was still able to get out and do things, we'd never run out of anything. But I... Uh, I don't know if I told you about it, Carrie, and I was having that real bad pain, like in my, like across my toes. And it felt like, um, what if I told you about that? Because, you know, I got the neuropathy, but I could feel across the top and it felt like a bruise. And I always wear socks. You know, I take my shower, then I put socks on. I never don't have socks on. Well, yeah. I got my socks off. My toe, I'm going to probably have to see, go to the doctor for it. Because I haven't, I haven't looked at my feet. The only time I look at my feet is when Kim cuts my toenails. Because he has to cut them for me. Well, anyway, um, and I may have heard it when I was running from trying to get away from the tornado. But the top of my foot right below my toes is all bruised, okay? Just like black. Not blue, but black. And my left toe is not straight up. It's leaning towards the left like it's been set over. And it may be broke for all I know. It's all swollen up because, you know, I can't feel the bottom of my feet. No. I just feel the top. They I just can't feel the do top. nothing for that. No, they, they can. What they, what they do is they uh, break it. Like if your toe gets pushed over. Like if I had a bunion, you know, growing, that would be a different thing. But it yep. looks like you know, I may have broke it. Who knows? Um, I can't bend it. It will not bend at all. You know, like you can't, but they oh didn't do mine. They only put tape on it and send me home. Yeah. They can tape them to the other to toe. Other. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever I did, I don't know. Kim looked at that and he goes, oh my God. Uh, he said, I yeah, mean, it's your own toe. to the doctor and got it checked. The day you had the accident. Well, I did with the, I did with my knee, but I didn't. I you know because I can't. I mean, I was my foot was sore, but they didn't look at. Hi, Becky. They didn't look at it or anything, and so I turned my foot and I look at the back of my foot, and that's all black and blue on the back. 
back and the top is just black. So I bet any amount of money I broke that toe. <laughs> oh, Pete, I broke it. I broke, I broke almost every you, toe on my you foot. You fell apart, Ma. You fell apart. I know. I'm like, good God. I guess I'm going to have to start looking at my toes. <laughs> Instead of keeping socks on all the time. Yeah. But Kim, okay, Kim was good. freaking out. I'm See, I'm charging a battery. Oh, that's cool. That's a battery charger. How's that? No, you... that's my battery for my flashlight. Oh. No, I can't move it, Becky. Uh, I can't move my any of my toes on the left foot. It won't bend. I, it won't even bend when I try to bend it with my hand. But because I have neuropathy. I mean, it's a little tender on the top of the foot. I can feel on the top of the foot, but I can't feel anything in the back. So because we're going to have no power on Monday, so beware! Don't go on any computers or anything. Oh yeah, we're, yeah. Uh, that'll shorten out the. I was I saw that in the news about there. the woo the uh. Big bomb, big bomb. <laughs> Tell me to go, ah, and you look down the throat. And by the way, when I woke up at 8.45, I said, uh -huh. well, I saw a big star. Now you can't see it outside. Did you see that yarn, that yarn that glows in the dark? Um, You know, I made that rabbit's dress out of it, and I, yeah. I, and I, uh, had one ball. With it? Huh? Did you scare yourself with it? Yeah, because I have all that keep all that stuff in a yarn bag, and I had a ball sitting out. I set it out on the thing, and I was thought, well, I'll make another one of those bunny rabbit dresses, and our dress for another doll, like one of my baby dolls, have that that yarn I used. And I looked over here at my night thing in the night, and I'm like, saw that yarn glowing, and I thought, oh my god. And it's just, it doesn't say it glows in the dark. It's just that red heart, um, red heart retro yarn. Yeah. The whole dang thing glows in the dark. So I thought, man, I'm going to make me some some curtains and everything out of that. <laughs> now you won't be able to sleep that. No. But I thought that was really cool. Oh, I need to show you that fabric. Um let me now I look ter terrible because I've been out in the wind and hi Jane. I, know, I saw that. Oh, did you see did you watch the cemetery video? Yeah, then I thought you weren't coming back on, so I I almost shut down and gone to bed. Oh no, don't leave me. Yeah, that uh I've been trying to get over to that uh that enclosure for a long time to look at those graves. And uh yeah, they're one person was born in 1723. Uh, let me show you the fabric. No, it's not that you, great. I thought you weren't going on, so I went, okay, maybe I'll go and play a game and see if she comes back on. If she does, I will be here. Yeah, I'll show you these. They, uh, they're, they're real pretty, but they're, uh, Okay, how do I do this? Okay. Okay, see they're in a little package. Yeah. Oh, those are good ones. I know, but the thing is, I don't want to, them to unravel on you because it's that kind of fabric that's like, uh, what are, I'm going to open this one. What it reminds me of is, um, you know, they're pre-cut and everything. Yes. Yeah. So, and I guess they're not too bad. Yeah, they're not too bad. They're kind of thin. Yep, that's like what I get from Mona. She sent me some. And I they're already thin. used some. Yeah, they're, see, like, that's one. They're, they're not too bad. No, nope, they got bumps uh, on them. Huh? They have bumps on the sides, so they can't fall apart. We, well, they're, um, 
They use they kind of, scissors to them. Yeah, there's supposed to be a hundred in here. So, oh, I love them. That might have some purple in there. Yeah, they're yep, pretty. They so that might be going on my blanket. See, they're they they're that kind that unravels real easy. Yeah, no, but if you I don't, know what to do when it comes. You sold them. You sold them. Yeah, ain't that pretty? Yeah. And then I think this I'll I'll show you a few of them. Uh yeah, they're pretty. I mean th three by nine, that's oh. almost do you want me to make you a Yep. Yeah. yeah, and that's uh they're pretty, Carrie. I mean, I got me those pink ones to do the that ones at stars. Yeah. But I mean Look, like a color there. They're just like, uh, they remind me of um, the when old. Your grandma was having bed sheets. Yeah, or the feed sack, the feed yeah. sack squares. But I like this one. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the ones I got for me. I'm gonna cut the cut circles and make the yo-yos. Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm gonna make blankets out of them. There are a hundred. There's a hundred in there. Look yep. at that pink or yellow. Yeah. I better quit. I better quit jacking with them so I don't. <laughs> Colin's laughing at me because I said I better quit jacking with. Them. <laughs> oh, uh, there's Jane. Hi, Jane. Did I say hi, honey? And then Becky says I enjoyed the cemetery visit, and then I saw where you were back on, so I'm here. Okay. Yeah, Kim was uh, pissing me off. That man. That you did you hear me call him ADHD? Yep. That's what we call him because he cannot concentrate. I know. And, I was laughing. And he uh he has did that spirit box. I don't know how many times, turn it off and on, and then all of a sudden he can't remember how to do it. I was like, Oh, I was getting mad at him. Could you hear me? Could you tell my voice I was losing my patience? Yep. I was losing my patience. Big time. Now let's see if I can so get it right back. In the... ready. Let me see if I can get it in the bag like it was in there. Well, of course, you know, I, I don't care how small something is or how big something is. When you take it out of the original package, you can't never get it back in the way it came. Nope. So let me see. I'll, uh, I'll take this like a stack of paper. That's how I'm straightening it out. You may have yeah, to put one in at a time. Oh, God, I hope not. You know, of course, they're cut probably on the machine, and then they... It's a little bitty mylar, kind of a... Not mylar, but... Oh, well, yeah, they're nice, you know. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's 100. I'm going to read on here. Okay, I got them in there. Mine just got 60. Let's see. What's that will help me with the girl's blanket. Oh, it just says, to avoid danger of suffocation, keep away from babies. That little bitty four-inch plastic bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I got me a... I'll show you my funny rag doll. Who in the crap is calling me? I don't know who that was. Uh, somebody called. Okay. Oh, darn. I forgot to put mine back in there. What's, that is Kenny and all them guys. They all see I'm live. Okay. I'm live, you guys. I'm live. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, guys. Guys, I'm actually live. I'm going to. Okay. I was live. I don't know why they were calling me. Okay. Um, anyway, I made this little rag doll. Oh, wow. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to make her a wig. She's like a little skinny doll. And then I'll make you her shoes. You want to see today? If someone left it in the mail room. Here, I'll show you. Let me put her back in there. 
my back is sore today. I got these squares. They're big, but I got, these are some I cut out. I'll make, use these to make her dress. Um, look, look what I found today. Aw, that's cute. How adorable. I just burped right in your ear. Material's pretty thin, but it's um it's a thin material, but it's good for making making granny square blankets. But this is the material that I got from them too, which I've had this material before, but like big pieces. But I'm gonna use that for my little rag doll's dress. I'll show you the cut. I think it's in this one or the another one. Oh, yeah. I still got a lot of cutting to do. I made this little purse. This little purse with the uh, oh, wow. padding. It's a uh, got straps, and I put a magnetic closure and then I've got um on the inside I've got little pockets you know the small one I mean it's a I might, I might make you a dog blanket cool now this is the these are the ones well, I, I got time because I got oh one well more order to do don't rush now this one's like all pink I think this one's got 60. But I'm going to do yo-yos out of this. Cut the yo-yos out. I'll do a tutorial on the yo-yos. Remember yo-yos, Becky? Hi, Ariel. Do you remember the yo-yos where you take the fabric, you cut a circle, then you fold in the, uh, you fold the edge in and then sew it with a needle and then pull it when you got it sewed in? I haven't seen that. Yeah. Becky probably remembers them. Hi, Ariel. Let me see. Uh, in this package, anybody wants to come up there's link. Now, that piece is pretty heavy. That's pink. That's pretty heavy. Watch me not be able to get that back in. Yeah, some in this one. Some of them. I like going to the dollar store. Because when I'm making them, see what this is, Ma? This is from the Dollar yeah. Store. From the Dollar Tree? Like Dollar Tree? Like me? No, Dollarama. We got a Dollarama. Oh, yeah, you got Dollarama. And so is the whole yard? Yeah, for, for $4. Oh, God, that's a bargain. So they also... I may go to get. I may have to go get. I want to get. Is this be funny? When I send it, it's green. You know how you, you send play video games, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it has that on the back of it. Oh, cool. Of each remote from each dog. Uh, system oh that's cool now here's a piece i got how many pieces are in that that's a that's a that's a fat quarter yeah that's a fat quarter and yeah. uh you could get yeah this, this is you could get maybe if you got a four Ruler number four. Uh -huh. you could get a whole bunch of them out. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. Might use that for the doll skirt because I don't got these aren't that very wide, but I have uh I have this fat quarter. 
I don't know what I bought it for. I have a whole bunch of them actually, and they're in the bathroom. A gray, a, I mean a brown. Yeah. I don't know why I bought that for, but I need to put that, use that to put in a lining in a purse. Now this this uh, person I made here has got. I'll show you. Um. Now I put batting between it. I'll turn it wrong side out. I put batting on the inside. Or between the two sides, I put an orange lining, and I uh, anyway, I put an orange lining, and I made the pockets on the inside, which are let's see, there's two big pockets, and then there's one little one on the side, like you can put the pencil oh, wow. on there. Yeah, so these bags had a. See, I got, yeah, white, I got the I got box a big box bottom. Box bottom. I can't talk. <laughs> yeah. Because I got a lot of these. I got one more. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna put my dollar back in mine. here. This is mine. Cool. It's a purple, and I'm gonna add. I will show you what I'm doing. That's mine. I'll show you what I did all night, um, a couple nights ago. Oh my God! I'm dropping stuff. See, I cut them. And oh I, yeah. You know what? Oh they yeah. Are? They're gonna be a brick. They're gonna go like that. Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty. See, I got all purple. See? Mm hmm That'd be really nice. Got dark. Oh, now, my gosh. That's how much I did in one night. Girl, you got patience. I used to. Oh, there. That's all the purple I cut in one night. Oh. Here's a poncho I'm making. Uh, just all. Now what did I knock off? Oh, got it. I dropped my dolly's arm too. Another rag doll I got cut out. An arm. I dropped her. Or is that a leg? I, I think got, that's a leg. I got all this to cut. Oh man. Yeah. That's a lot. But anyway, here's the poncho I'm making. It's actually pulling, um, to make the pulling thread or pulling, it's pulling yarn, but it's a four point, that's just the top part. That's a four point, um, four point, four point, <laughs> a four point poncho. But I like the way the fabric lines up in there. Because it's pulling thread. Yeah. And yeah, it I makes it. That. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I still there. got your needle and your. Um... Oh, yeah. Your rabbit. I'm standing down. Yeah. I'll have to wait until I get a payday. I got a lot of stuff to mail come payday. Um, yeah. But. Oh, but Becky won something from me, and Jane, and um, and uh, Cynthia. But yeah, I'm making this poncho. I'm trying to get, I'm gonna make up a bunch of. Try to keep making ponchos all summer, and uh, to use up some yarn, and then I'll. Maybe give some away. I mean, guys can wear them too to keep warm. Uh, I'm going to try to make up as much as I can. Excuse me. But I don't know how far this yarn will get me. Maybe well, that's, smaller. That's what I'm doing. 
on my spare time. But the rest of the time, I'm making dog burn cake right now. Yep. I got Texas Angels done, but she said not to send it. Yeah, I used to tell you about that. My husband, he just listens to music so loud. I can't believe that I told him to take me for a ride today. He said, do we have to go to a cemetery? And I said, no, not today. And uh, I can't believe he didn't turn the radio on. So he knows I don't like to ride with the radio on in the car. That uh, I did when I was younger, but now in my old age, it bothers me. I ain't worried you'll get my prize to me when it comes. <laughs> Maggie's so sweet. <laughs> Maggie's a good girl. You're a good girl, Becky Boo. Yeah. I was going to put this gray rinse on my hair today. So, well, it's yeah, actually so done. I can't set my birthday up till around 7.30. I will set it up. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, if I could pick... I'm trying I'm to walk my button. On 29th? I, I, I know when my parcels come from my friend, they got uh -huh. a note on it. Do not open till the 29th. <laughs> yeah nobody could give me something like that because i'd be too tempted yeah. but this one i'm going to put on my hair because it's um gray my hair is gray and white why why these young girls dye their hair gray i'll never know i mean they're going to be gray enough gray soon enough but i figured since my hair I, by the way up here they started yeah. at age of 15 going gray I know they dye their the young ones dye their hair gray. No, well, my, my, they're starting going gray. I got a couple of teenagers on my farm. Well, well, I believe it because of life's so crazy. Because yeah, all the teachers. Oh no, this is uh this is my natural color, uh, Becky. It's white, so you can see right here on the sides. It's starting to get this. It's that's all my natural hair white. See, but I'm going to go ahead. And, Becky, I got gray and and it's yeah. been a block to it. It's called peppery. My hair is gray in the back, but what I'm going to do because I got that pink hanging on down here and I don't like it. My daughter-in-law's a she's a she worked with school at Paul for Paul Mitchell. She told me to get this because it is sorts cough and it's better than going to the salon and having it done. And she said, told me what to get. And it's just the gray hair color. She said, it'll probably turn your white darker on the top. But it'll probably be a darker, like a gray. But this is what she told me to get. So good. I'm it ready to be. Out. Let me know. I'll be looking for some gray up here. Yeah, it, it'll help it. because. Uh, but I don't understand why young girls like that. Want to be gray headed. I mean, if naturally, but like my niece, Courtney, she came here last time she came here. She walks to the door and her hair just gray, like gray and silver, like an old lady. And I said, I started going gray at 28. But uh, now in 2000, 2017, I cut my hair off real short. It's about that long all over. I was and, uh, when I was in my, um, in high school. Well, yeah, I was getting some gray. Uh, yeah, Becky, that's the thing about redheads because my grandmother, she was 88 when she passed away. She was a redhead and she had no gray hair. She did, hers just got, and my mother-in-law is the same way. When you have red hair, it starts to lighten up, but it looks like you got highlights. Don't look like gray. But when your hair, my hair was, my hair was so dark. It was I had dirty. I had dirty blonde. First it was blonde. Then it went dirty blonde. Then it went brown. Then bit of black. I had, I had mixed colors. My hair is natural. Of course, I haven't had any, 
Oh my God. Because I had my, my grandmother blonde. My grandfather yeah. was, had a bit of red. My mom was light brown. My dad was black hair. Yeah, Colin is, you know, he's a redhead. But his hair is more like an auburn now. My grandmother, uh, she had red hair. Beautiful red hair like yours, Becky. Curly, I mean, tight, curly red hair. And then my mom, she had black hair. My grandfather, he's uh, real black hair, just black. I mean, black as can be. So my mom got the real dark hair. Well, then my dad, my dad's hair was black when he was young. So all of my, well, my, uh, my sister Joyce and my brother Bob, they were blondes. And uh, then um, my hair was just always really dark. In the summertime, you know, it'd lighten up when you play outside. But yeah. when you have dark hair, you go grayer quicker, I guess. I don't, I guess it's, I don't think it's you go quicker. I think it's just your hair is so dark. But I remember uh, my hair started going gray right here in the front. And yeah, when I was, too. yeah, when I was 27, I, it was just like from here down on the front, it was white. And then I thought everybody would say, or well, actually I was younger than that. I was probably like 20, well, it's about 19. Jimmy would have been completely white by 65. He had lived that long. He was, it was ready to, yeah. And my mom, my mom dyed her hair one time and uh, it turned red and brassy on her. But my mom, she always used to tell me, I want you to dye your hair pink or purple. I said, mother, you know, I would never have dreamed on that. And then uh, she said, do it like they're doing. She said, I, I just want to see if you'll do it. Because she said, you will usually take on any dare that anybody hands out. And uh, why I put that pink on it, I told my kids, I said, you know what? One of these days, I'm going to dye my hair my favorite color. And Adam and Colin both sat here and said, I dare you to do it now. Well, then Mimi Catdo sent me some pink hair dye, and I said, that's it. I'm going to dye it pink. <laughs> yeah. Now she got her hair purple. Yeah. But it was fun while it lasted. Yeah. It was fun. But I'm going to put that on there. My daughter-in-law, she... Well, actually, I gave her, I sent her the money to buy it. It's called Metallic Silver. And uh, she said this Swartz cloth is, is really good. I have to look for some gray stuff up here. Yeah, that purple shampoo, I like it. But my hair, boy, this pink on the bottom will not, look a, it looks a, awful because it's like needs to be washed. But I want it to be good. And hi, Sylvia. Yeah, just gray, just like the normal color it is, uh, yeah. Sylvia. Up here, just the kids are that. not dyeing their hair gray. They're just going gray. Oh, yeah. You know, there's truth to that. that because uh, because all, they're, I'm, I'm not saying they're all different colors here, all different colors, but you could see it. In the kids' hair already. Well, you know, black, if they are black hair, you could see gray already. Yeah, well, you know, our hair is dead cells. And if you Google it, when, you die, when you're when you stressed, under stressed, you, the, your cells die at a more rapid speed. And the melanin, melano, not melanoma, not melatonin. Me, I can't say it right. Me, <laughs> Whatever. It's the hormone that changes in your body that kills the hair follicle or makes your hair you, you're the color. Yeah. But anyway, uh, it's true. I was so stressed out because my mom was sick and stuff like that. Yeah, and it does. It, it makes you, like you know, like we've heard our parents say kids are causing me to have gray hair. Well, nervousness, anxiety, sickness, yeah, all of it. It, it'll cause your hair to change colors on you. Now, if you read about that, it does. So I don't know. This could, uh, 
this could make my hair darker. It could not, it might not, my niece or my daughter in law said it could, uh, since your hair is white, growing in, coming in white, she said it could darken it, it could make it lighter, it could not even do not, anything at all. But since it's permanent, it probably will. Now, the, the it shows the hair thing here, uh, it shows bleach blonde. Now, see, when I was dyeing my hair pink, people thought that I was bleaching my hair out. No. And that's why the blonde, that's why the pink just stays on because I just have naturally white hair, white and gray hair. It's my natural yeah. color. So I'm hoping this will just kind of. My dad um, goes, why don't you dye your hair? I dyed it too long. So I went, nope, don't want to do it. it. I love it. Yeah, Sylvia says she loves to change her hair color all the time. I used to dye my hair, my God. I had, I had, I did auburn hair for a long time, like auburn. I did that for a long time. And uh, in 2017, when I first, when I cut my hair all off and then it was all, it grew out in one year, uh, I could not believe how gray I was because that's the first time I'd seen my hair completely Look gray right because I didn't. What's it say to support the veterans? Yep. Oh, you got a USA cup. Yeah. I got a diet. I got a diet coke that says. You know support how much your I pay for it? <laughs> how much? $39. Oh, is that a Stanley? Is this a Stanley cup? No. I know, but is it made? Is it made That's by Stanley? One of the um for um, one of the um channels I'm on. Oh, and it's metal. So if I okay. drop it on my foot, my foot be broken. Oh yeah, probably like this, like Stanley cup, like well, fake Stanley. Yeah, I've had brown hair, I had blonde hair. I've got a picture on YouTube. Oh, you know how I'm fat. What? You know how I'm fat. Well, Colin, that ain't very nice day about yourself. My big fat body comes from the springs on my back. Uh oh. That could happen to anybody. Colin broke one of these springs. I'm going to try to I'm going to find a picture of me on YouTube with with um, blonde hair. I was dyeing my hair blonde for a long time. Red, you blonde name it. Gray. Orange. Buy it no, I ain't doing no more colors like that. I used no, I did the burgundy y'all for too long. I don't know how to, where to, to find my pictures on the. Let's see. No. Yeah, I'm trying to find the. Mom, your computer freeze. Huh? The phone just froze for a second. I'm trying to find my picture files on Facebook, and I don't know where to go for that. Daddy, oh, Daddy, you gotta go see your memory. Colin! Hang on, man. I got loud mouth in there. What was that, Carrie? Hold on. Let huh? me tell you. I gotta look it up myself. Hold on. Yeah, I can't tell on a phone. Hold on. I will tell you on my... I know how to get it. Hold on. How would you buy this okay. Diet Coke? Okay. It is horrible. I got Facebook oh, open. I'll drink it. Hi, Debbie. I'll drink it. I drink out of it in my mouth. Okay, on the page. Okay. On the page. Hey, babe. Okay. Okay. Um, go to your M E M O R I E S. Uh. The where? M E. Okay. M O R I E S. Oh, okay. Where are your pictures? Will be. Oh, there we yeah. go. Okay. Oh, I got pic. Oh, I got pictures of. I got pictures of. Uh, oh, did you see that picture I sent? Um, Lester. Did you watch that video I sent you? Um, I don't know. I'll have to go. No, I don't think so. 
Okay, you gotta watch it because guess what? What? I was on his panel. Oh, cool. Okay, I found a picture of me six years ago when I had my hair dyed red. Every year, every mo month, as a picture comes up. <laughs> there I am with red hair. That was six years ago. Okay, now let me go down. I'll have to all look it up. Oh, my dog, Patty. I can't watch that. That will make me cry. Um, yeah, that will come on the Facebook by itself. Everybody gets to see those pictures. Cool. The first, it, first it comes to your page, then you got to paste it. Okay. Yeah. Doing good, Deb Deb. Oh, God, a lot of this stuff on this memory is stuff oh I posted. God, about. I forgot to post this. Posted about Trump. <laughs> that stuff that ain't very nice. <laughs> no. I'm, my little aunt, we call her a cat. Uh huh. We, I met her five years ago today. Wow. God, I wish I still had those glasses. I love those glasses that I had when I took that picture. I hate these glasses. Can't see out of them. Where is the other pictures? Oh, got to go up here. There we go. People and dates. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, that ain't it. Yeah, on a phone. I can't. I don't know how anybody uses their phone all the time for, for their main thing. I can't. Okay. Find the, go, Ma. When you yeah. finish, go to my page. Okay. And you will see Lil turn into a pit bull. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me see. Um. Saved. Okay, let's see. I got. I'm. Oh, pictures of my <laughs> my um. Oh, I found them all. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, a bunch of this. Bunch of it is, well, picture of my, one of my nieces, she's really got her hair dyed well, but I don't know what this thing she's got on her nose is. I guess that goes through both nostrils. <laughs> I don't know what is a piercing. Yeah, no, they do it right in the crack of your nose, Ma. Oh God! Okay, yeah, here's twenty. No, look at my fingers. Yeah, right. Yeah, right through there. Yeah. yeah. Just, oh God! I have one right bunch. here. I have one right here, but I took it out because oh, you took get infected. Uh, Shannon was the my that girl I just showed you. She yeah. um. Got a bunch of pictures of my grandson. He's little, bless his little heart. He's been through so much and ain't even funny. Um, but Shannon was the first one in the that I ever knew that had the first. God, here's my oldest kid when he was a baby. He's 40 wow. years old. Now. But uh, yeah, she was, uh, she used to stay with me and I used to, she was staying with me when she was in high school. And uh, and uh, she got sleeping on the couch. And she said, and Nora, and I said, what? And she goes, um, I can't get up. And I said, why? And she said, my earring. Okay, Deb, Deb. She said, my earring, nose ring is um, 
stuck to the couch. She had rolled over on her side and she got it stuck uh, in the couch. In the, I was like, oh no. Yeah, Here's I, got my ear, I got my earring stuck too when the when um when something happened. My aunt, aunt couch and the couch fell over and I was underneath it. That blanket got stuck on my ear. Ugh. I've had it stuck in my earring in my ear. Here's a picture of Colin when he graduated from college. That little bitty lady is was my best friend that died a year ago in February. Whoa. And her and the other the other man, that's her husband. He died on my birthday. Oh my lord. Yeah, and while we were talking on the phone, he was he was actually in the bedroom dying. She didn't even know it. He told her he was going to go to bed early because he didn't feel good. And we were on the phone talking and he's dying while we were on the phone. And she didn't even know it. He had a heart attack, like a silent heart attack. And yeah, yeah, it was really weird because she called me back about 10 o'clock and she, uh, I thought she was tell I thought she was joking around. Mom, I opened three cans of Lux beans and put them in the crock pot and daddy made coleslaw and tomorrow we're going to try some potatoes. Oh. Cool, Debbie, that sounds delicious. I like to make green beans, potatoes and ham together. But no, she uh, my friend called me back real late and she said Wayne died. I just been on the phone with her an hour before that, too. And I said Somebody's playing a terrible joke. Because that can't be Thelma. Debbie says, I'm in bed and today I got a chest of drawers from Daddy. Oh, sweet. But yeah, her husband, it was my birthday. Oh my God. And then that was uh, five years ago. No, wait a minute. Six years ago. So every year when I have a birthday, I'll think about that. Yuck. Diet Coke is gross. Ugh. like Diet Pepsi, but I ain't crazy about Diet Coke. Nope. I'm not either. Diet yep. Pop, I'm not allowed to touch it. My sister loves Diet Coke, but ugh, it tastes bitter. Every once in a while, you can even get a bad batch of soda. Oh, no, it was. I'm not, allowed, I'm not allowed to touch any diet, that diet pop because they got the um, wrong sugar in it. Yeah, I haven't had a regular soda in so long. I'm gonna get me one. Maybe tomorrow. Because um, up here they did some testing and they've got something in it and making people sick. Well, that tastes terrible. Colin got that from Kroger. I don't like Kroger's food. I don't think they got good stuff. Uh, they got water there, bought water there today, and um, I just don't like the Kroger store. Yeah. But I haven't had a regular soda in so long, and I've been craving one. I had, a, I got an ice cream cone today. I um, when Kim took me did, for a ride. Did the, did the doggy get ice cream too? <laughs> well, he went in, and I said, "Get a little bitty cup for her of ice cream." He come back out and the cup was like heaping over that big at the top and I said she can't have all that so but she didn't but he didn't get an ice cream cone but he uh anyway so I put it on a paper towel and gave it to her but god she spoiled rotten no, she is let her get those cups too and the dog eats it right out the cup yep now, Dairy Queen, before they tore our Dairy Queen down, which had probably only been up there, it probably, the building was not probably only 10 years old. They tore it down because they built a roundabout. But every time we'd go through there, they would give us a pup cup. You know, they'd yeah. give us a, they'd give us a um, ice cream. I'm, that's where I'm going to get my birthday cake. Oh, God, I love their, I love their. Dairy Queen cakes. That's what I'm having for my birthday. Yeah, those are those are good. Oh my god! Because I could eat half 
I could have a a big slice on the 27th, a big slice on that, and that rest is for the 29th. There you go. <laughs> Celebrate. <laughs> well, my husband tomorrow, we're supposed to have 98. Uh, Debbie says, Mom, what flavor ice cream did you choose? Vanilla. I only like vanilla ice cream cones. I love vanilla ice cream. That's my ice cream. I'm I'm a boring person. I, I, like, I, like, I like the dip, the blue dip. I like hard ice cream. I like all kinds of flavors. But if it's soft serve, I only want a vanilla, vanilla soft serve. But uh, we because have to I go. Like to, I, want, I like when they dip it and it goes hard and it turns blue. Yeah. Well, we got Quick Trip. And but it's a dollar. Problem, the, your stomach after when it comes out, and I will say it, it's really gross. Oh God! Well, you guys have a quick trip. Green. Something turns really, really bright. Oh yeah. Green. That's how mine is. I know what you're talking about. That's how mine is when I eat anything with food coloring in it. Turns all one color green. Yeah. I, I've we been have... eating pebbles. I've been eating pebbles cereal. Yep. Oh, God. That does that to me, too. Yeah. Anything with fruit coloring. Even even uh, every once in a while, Colin will get us uh, sun-kissed orange soda pop, and I love that. And next day, you can count on it. But he don't usually bring soda at the house, bring anything in the house because he don't want he don't waste no money on food. Uh, Deborah says I like vanilla and pralines ice cream. Yeah, I that's good. I like a so I like ice cream cone. I like my ice cream cones. If, if I, I go get, get one, that, I'm gonna get a five pet um five liter ice cream. Oh yum! That's a pet like you know what I mean a big. It's like this. It's big. It's going yeah, all around. Cool. It's ice cream. It's you got vanilla, you got chocolate, and strawberry. Kim said, uh, Kim said tonight, he said, I'm gonna go to the store and I'm not gonna take grape Kool-Aid did that do <laughs> yeah, Becky, and grape soda pop. But anyway, Kim said, uh, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'm not taking Colin with me. Cause he throws a, he gets so mad if Kim buys any junk food or anything. And, uh, cause Colin don't want it to buy, he don't want to, to buy it in the house and he don't want to waste the money. And I mean, he don't want to have it in the house and he don't want to waste the money. And he's very conservative with his money. And, you know, he helps us out with the bills and, um, but Kim said, I'm going to go and I'm going to get some stuff from you. I said, okay, we'll go together. <laughs> Come home and hide. No, we won't hide it. But Colin just knows it costs a lot. And he's just trying to help us out, you know? Yeah. But uh, I'm telling you what. And they say the groceries by Christmas, the groceries and gallon of milk will be this $5. Uh, by the uh, way, the milk is up here is $7. Oh, God. Well, uh, Colin, 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 hey, Colin, what does a gallon of milk cost at Aldi? Three something, he said, at Aldi. Yep, not up here. It's $7 now. That's at the Aldi, the cheap grocery store. What's the cost at Kroger, Colin? He said three something there, too. See, you guys have got cheaper because you only got to pay one tax. Now we got three. Yeah, Becky, he don't he don't let him buy beer. If Colin Colin does the groceries, but if Colin Colin uh, really gets on to him about buying beer, he does. But you know, Kim buys that with his own money. But Colin wouldn't buy it, ever buy from Colin. Wouldn't Colin? He's never even went to the store. And bought his dad's beer for him. He refuses. He won't, he wouldn't, and he would never do it with his own money. But yeah. And if Kim would quit buying that, 
we could save a lot of money. Yeah. But every day. He said when he retired, he's just going to do nothing but drink beer and do that. And boy, he's living up to what he said he was going to do, too. Yeah. Sorry, Mom, hello. I can't have grape flavors because of bipolar. It can set off symptoms of mania. My doctor told Daddy years ago, no, yeah, red dye is bad. Red dye is also, yeah, red dye is also bad for people with clinical depression. Oh. And I have to be real careful. Like, I'm going to look on this Coke. Because it's, if it's got a certain number in it, I'm not supposed to have it. Let me see. If it has the red dye number 10, number number 12, 10 to 12, this don't have no red dye in it. Uh, yeah. Lunch meat, when you have depression, when you have a depression and bipolar, you're not supposed to eat lunch meat. You're not supposed to eat hot dogs. Um, God, there's all kinds of stuff you're not supposed to have. Because... Uh, triglycerides um let's see what kim because kim has it kim uh kim don't eat any of that stuff because he would have he would be having some problems because he has bipolar he drinks his beer which is okay but it's not okay in his case because it's too old i told him if he drank didn't quit drinking beer he was like a year ago his uh kidney is going to give out on him yep. but he like eat Okay, red sauces, spaghetti sauce, and stuff like that, he has to be very careful with that. Any of your foods that have acid in it? I can't have acid. No, me either. If I, I, I love, I love spaghetti. Oranges, but I got to be careful I'll about that too, too because of the acid. Yeah, I love, I love uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti is one of my favorite foods. And there's two things about it that almost kill me. The red dye, when you have clinical depression, and believe it or not, I have it. I have taken it. I was clinically, de clinically diagnosed with depression. But I can't eat a lot of spaghetti. Like, but it's my favorite. It's, I have to say that and Mexican food are my favorite food. Yeah, love spaghetti. Love it. Colin makes it just like I make it. I mean, Colin always, that's his talent is cooking, but. He feeds me and Kim healthy. He really does. He, um, now tonight he made me, uh, I, I did have a, um, you know, the tortilla shell, you know, the round shell. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's bad, Sylvia, honey. God bless you. But anyway, uh, he did make me a grilled cheese, like took one and put the cheese between it and did it halfway, but he made me vegetables with it. And he makes sure me and his dad eat healthy. He does. He really does. But um, I can tell when I have had, let me tell you something about cheese. If you have a history of migraine, bad headaches, you got to stay away from that cheese and that chocolate, all that stuff. It will cause your headaches to be crazy. No, cheese helps me without, I have to have cheese. Because it cheese, stops me having diarrhea. Well, cheese gives me diarrhea. <laughs> I, if I try cutting the red sauce, yeah, with white sauce, yeah. Yep. And I'm uh, back. I got, I, got, I got the munchies. Now you got me thinking <laughs> about my Easter bunny. Yeah, milk I can, Easter bunny to eat. Oh, okay. Cheese products make me have the runs. Uh, I have to watch that. <sighs> A lot of people can't drink diet soda because it gives them real bad headaches and diarrhea. But everything in moderation, you know. Yeah, oh yeah, it does. My dad used to say he knew what caused cancer was sugar. And it, you know, it if you it's really bad because well, sugar's bad because sugar is sugar turns and your body turns to fat. But um my dad said the reason why people got cancer is because they eat sugar. And nowadays we know that sugar, that cancer loves sugar. 
you know, overweight people, like people like myself, I got to watch it because, you know, overweight fat people get cancer easier than anybody else. They really do. My, do my doctor did a test so of straight. diet pop. Oh, yeah, it's horrible. It is horrible. Oh, that, sugar. that sugar has yeah. something in it. I can't have it because it will cause cancer because I've been tested. Yeah, that, it, it's that's true. I take meds for my stomach. You know, I had uh, in, when my dad died in 2016. I had those blood clots in my legs. I had ended up with a bleeding ulcer, and it was all from stress. The blood clot was because I was stressed out the whole time. I was like, I used to go every day when I go to drive to my hometown to take care of my dad, and one reason why, and I had retired from teaching because uh, I was having seizures, but I, I needed to take care of my dad. And I had a husband, my husband still worked. My sister's husband, he had passed away. My sister lived with my mom and dad, but she had to work every day because she had to, that's the only way she had to make money because, you know, she didn't have a husband. So my mom and dad, my dad always t told us, please don't put me in a nursing home. So we were not going to do that. So I drove every day to his house, made a 40 mile trip every day, round trip. Whoa. And to take care of my dad. And I didn't care what happened. I was going to get there. Uh, I did have a fill of seizure coming on and had to pull over on the side of the road. And it, next thing I knew, I woke up in ICU and I had to take like three months off taking care of my dad. But my brother took care of her, ter care of him. And, uh, anyway, then I went back to taking care of him, but, uh, I just ended up with all these ulcers. Well, they were giving me, uh, they were giving me eloquence because I had, I'd had a, a pulmonary embolism in 2005. And so when they found out I had blood clot in my right leg again, which had been having blood clots in my right leg since I was 17 off and on. They put me on Eliquis because they had the blood clots were, um, they didn't want me to get a, a pulmonary embolism again. Well, I had a blood clot, I had a blood clot behind my knee. They didn't know that one was there. They didn't know I had one in my groin. And they did, the only one that they knew that I had was down in the calf of my leg where I always got them. Well, anyway, I took, took, uh, acid reflux medication once a week because you know they'll give you that one pill a week that'll take care of it you won't have it all week long i was on that one well when i started taking eloquus i had to quit taking that that uh that acid reflux pill which i don't know if i've ever had heart pain because i never felt nothing like everybody tells you what it feels like they didn't know but because they went down in my stomach they said they did the did an upper GI and a lower GI. They went in the old butt and in the stomach all in the same day. And they told me that I had excessive acid in my stomach. So anyway, I quit taking, they put me on that pill. So I quit taking that pill because I was taking that Elquis. And let me tell you what, I was sick as a dog when they took me off that acid reflux pill. That whole time I was on that Elquis for my blood clot in my leg. Oh my God. And I would drive every day to take care of my dad. Oh, mom, you're froze. Give it a minute. She froze. She froze. Yep. 
she froze. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Wait till she comes back. If she doesn't come back, guys, I may have. Hi guys. The internet's not good. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Aha, okay. She froze. She kicked herself out and plus she froze. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> oh, time. <laughs> my uh my laptop was I had I had my laptop unplugged and it died, so I had to find it back. <laughs> I thought so. That's what happened to me this uh, this afternoon. I had the wrong well, plug in. Well, I uh, I made sure that I was gonna when my laptop gets fully charged, unplug it so that I don't ruin the battery because that'll ruin your battery to keep it plugged in all the time. So forgot to plug it back in because I mean it'll stay charged for like six hours. It'll it'll live for six hours before the battery dies. <laughs> And I just forgot to plug I'm it sure. back in. What Did you that? hear that? What was that? I'm going to find out. Is that a ghost? If it's a ghost, let me at it. <laughs> let me fuck out. <laughs> oh, Jane, good night, sweetie. Rest it's up, a honey. fire truck. Oh, is it a fire truck? If anybody yeah. wants to come up, pop on up down in there. Is it um? Is it? Yeah, I hope it's nothing in your building. I'm gonna go find out because I, I don't want far to go. I love the way this pattern is working out on this poncho. Because last night I was gonna text you and say. Hey, the police pulled somebody over and I could see the flashing lights. Oh, God. You sh I wanted to see that. I love don't want to see all the action. Isn't this making a pretty... This is the top part of it. It's you cool. were supposed to show me how to start. Oh, this is completely different than what I'm, I'm doing on the other one. This is just a... This is so easy to make. This is how I always made ponchos when I was a kid. I just did a ch chain of eight, 80 and then I went in every single stitch with a double crochet and then I connect it after I get 80 double crochet and then I section it off in four, 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 uh, 20s, four 20s. <laughs> and then I just do a double crochet and it's really, really easy. And this is that pulling yarn that you do pulling out to, have you guys ever done pulling? I love pulling, but my God, it takes forever. Okay, so it outside. makes a beautiful poncho. The pattern is, you know, it makes I'm the. Gonna take you outside. You're going to see a plane coming over. Oh, God. 
AMD Software Adrenaline Edition has detected that one or more. Oh God. Press the Artella to access the radiant overlay in a game configuration. I don't know what that means. Quit giving me this stupid stuff. Colin, I got something called AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. I'm going to click on now that stuff. Yeah, I'm making poncho. Okay, I'm outside. Oh, she's, oh God, she's going to be on the, oh God, I get, I get so dizzy up there on your deck. Oh, oh my God. She can see the city. Do you see the plane flying over the building? Oh yeah, I do. I see it. I see it. I see it. I did, I'm dizzy. Just looking, just being there. <laughs> and one night I was laying in bed. I looked like the plane was coming this way. Oh, God. With headlights thought. <laughs> two headlights. Be, Not one headlight. Two headlights. Oh, Lord. It's busy in the sky tonight. <laughs> Look at all those cars down there. Yeah. Now it would be cool to sit there if you're not, but no, God, I couldn't stand no, I'm up. Not going, I'm, not, I'm not that close to the bow from the end. I remember a friend of mine, we went to the Lake of the Ozarks years ago. Oh, and I just hit my knee on the chair like, oh, son of a beast. <laughs> that reminds me of my friend going to the Lake of the Ozarks here in Missouri. And I wasn't paying attention. 1989, and uh, we had a bunch of junk food. This one, we were skinny and we could eat anything because oh, we were young, you know. It's coming up this way, too. The plane, oh god, that's pretty cool, though. You can sit there and watch it, that would be so neat to look out the window. I watch, I, 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 hi, Grover. I see Grover. I see your Grover doll there. Yeah. I love Grover. I got to make him a better jacket. I don't like the leather jacket on him. It gets too oh, you don't like it. She's in Canada, uh, Sylvia. I almost, bought me, I almost bought me one of those purple fans like that at Walmart. That's my next door neighbor's fan. Oh, is it? Yeah. See all those boxes? I was on well, my way true. out of this building. Well, but that's also your crafts too. So yeah. you, ought to, you ought to see when I wake up in the morning, I just say, oh my God, look at this mess I've got over here. Yarn oh. and craft oh. stuff. And oh, 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 sorry, Grover. I didn't mean to scratch your foot in the door. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do? Shut the door on, Grover. Yeah, <laughs> I knocked him on the floor. <laughs> She's a poor Grover. She's a Muppet killer. You know the one that one person I would love to get again. Who's that? The Cookie Monster. Oh yeah. I had him. I had one, but somebody broke his eyes. On the Amber loves. Bus. Amber loves the cookie monster. She loves the cookie monster. She's always like, Mom, give me a cookie monster. I'm like, nope. I ain't getting you one. And she loved the little people. Still does to this day. And she's 42 years old. Loves those little, uh, oh, God, no. Amber's 40. Amber's 44. What am I saying, 42? She loves the little people, the little people that had the little cars, the little house, the little wooden people. Now they're plastic. And completely yeah. different. She loves those. In fact, I did buy her a farm. I bought her a little people farm. God, about. God, I don't know how many years ago. I think I done a. I think I got to undo a row. I think I done something wrong. Oh yeah, my mine's gonna be all all triangle. And it has no holes in mine. Cool. My, my, I, my shop. 
Yeah, I'll have to. What we'll do. How are we going to do this? I could do. We'll get on the. We'll get on our phones together on Messenger. And I'll show you how yeah. to do it. And. Um, it's really. I'm going to break my chocolate. I think I messed up on this. Let me go back and look. I, think I, I, went, I don't want a fancy one. But I just want to do just. See, this ain't fancy. This is... Um, but no holes in mine. Yeah, now see, this is this is all all stitch. I mean, there's going to be a little bit. I mean, see, you can't really... I mean, you can kind of see a little bit through it, but it's all... Yeah. Let me make it big real a second. It's all double crochet. Let me do solo that. Now, this is the whole thing. Now, you can do the two panels, but see, it's just double crochet. And I've made them before. Now, it looks like it's curled up, but I even crocheted the fringe and put on it. I don't have the dangly fringe. I actually do a crochet of four, uh, 40 and then go back in each stitch and then connect it. And I'll have to show it when I get closer. But see, this yeah. is a poncho, and its neck ain't real low. It gets bigger as you go. This is like I'm making the one for Debbie. But I like the way the pulling thread gives it this pattern. Like, mm -hmm see and uh let me get out of here i haven't washed my hair in three days i still got the same clothes on too but anyway um huh i do too i didn't wash my hair i'm still in my pajama top because every time i sew i don't want that um when you're cutting and stuff flying over your clothes well, I wash the part that's important, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what I've done. Let's see. I think I messed up. I have to un. Okay, that part's okay. Let me see if this stitch. There's a way I do this. I don't want to go in the. Uh, Okay, I got to undo a row. I like these colors, though. I got a burgundy one that I'm making, and it's a different way I make a pon poncho. It's a granite square. It's where you put uh, <clears throat> the two uh, two triangles together. I like that kind, too. Now, I can get fancy uh, by doing some fancy bobble stitches, but... That takes so much yarn. So, 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 so. Hi, Austin. Austin, see if you can come up this time. Last time he couldn't. You should be able to. Because mom blocked you. <laughs> mom didn't do it. Mom didn't do it. It's, um... Well, he had, well, only thing I did <clears throat> is he had like two pages like down there and I clicked one off when he was down in the basement. There was like, it had his name twice. And when I clicked it off, he was gone and they couldn't come back. And I thought, oh my God, what have I done? That's the only thing I can figure out. Mm -hmm. Well, this will either be okay or it won't, but I... Looks like I got an extra stitch in there somewhere. But I might take all my ponchos outside and hang them on my swing on a clothes hanger and see if um, take a make a short <clears throat> out of it. Because I'm running out of things to make videos on. See. I know I'm doing this. Oh, I <laughs> Last night I did a live uh up late crocheting for 30 minutes, got 84 views. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go check on this noise. Okay, go check it out. I'm gonna see what I'm 
What's my name? What's my name? He's back there telling me to get off and be quiet. That's another fire truck. Oh, Lord. Going down down that way to the Lake Ontario near the 401. Mm. See, I, I go to the 401 two ways. Along what, Colin? Is it 1111? It's 11 till 11. I know. I see that. 11 till 11. Colin? We'll kick his butt. Huh. Collins? What? No, I don't. I know where one is. Kim said, you know where your children is. I thought he was griping it. He was yelling. I thought the whole time I thought he was yelling at me. Getting on to me. What? If you don't stop that. Kim, you quit talking dirty. <laughs> He's such a weirdo. Now he, I tell him to take me for a ride. And I only do it so me and Stella can get an ice cream cone. And he ain't caught on yet. <laughs> oh, God. He just heard me. I'm busted. I won't get no more ice cream cones. <laughs> no more ice cream. <laughs> what, Kim? You better shut up, Carrie. I'm in here on the computer with Carrie. Uh-oh. He's... Uh-oh. <laughs> Carrie? What? I said... I just said, Kim, you better shut up. I'm in here with Carrie. And he goes, uh-oh. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> right, Carrie? Mm -hmm. Yell at him. Tell him to go to sleep. Go to sleep, Kim. <laughs> yeah, Carrie, don't you go to sleep. <laughs> oh, God. See, I'm sitting in the chair tonight, so I can't fall asleep. <laughs> go to sleep, old man. Oh, God. something else you know I get I hate when people say they get triggered you know but I do have to say it what oh god Colin stop it Colin said it um anyway I do get triggered and he was triggering me uh he was triggered me a while ago I said um, he just wouldn't shut up and leave me alone. And I was trying to concentrate and he just kept on and 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 kept on. And, kept on. and um, and so I said, get your blankety flagging flagging flippity out of here. You're triggering me. <laughs> he had to be there. It was funny. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Because he was. He was triggering me. Oh, God. Ooh, my dead feet. They are cramping. On the top of them. Tell them that's loud. My skin's so dry, it's making me feel horrible. Yeah, this, um, I'm going to watch it after I get off here. Uh, they have a thing about this solar eclipse. Yeah, um, it's going to start Monday. Yeah, it's supposed to be 1.30 here in Missouri. We're supposed to be able to see it. My niece lives in Cape Girardeau. That's like th two hours from her house. I told Kim not to work because he does work, you know. He works, even though he's retired, he does odds and ends jobs for people. Yeah. And uh, I told him, don't do nothing on Monday because Courtney and Jordan, 
that's my niece and her husband. They want everybody to said so everybody can come down and have a barbecue with them and all that stuff. And they'll watch the, you know, have the food about right about the time the eclipse happens, you know? Yeah. And of course we ain't going cause he just decided he'd do some work for somebody tomorrow. I said, Kim, so I've got those glasses that from that 2017 eclipse and, uh, we had one couple weeks, year, a couple, um, 2022. We had one up here. Yeah, in the United States, I don't know if this is for all over the world, but this is this one's supposed to be so intense there won't be another one like this for a hundred years. No, nope, so. it's up here too. Oh, is it? Yeah. I think it's worldwide. Pretty it much. is because Canada shut down. Yeah. You got? Did you guys get a get a holiday, a national holiday? See, usually you guys get like stuff like that, and, and a lot of other countries did too. They got national holidays for it. Yeah, but, because uh, right now they're saying that the, all the computers are not going to be turned on or nothing. The banks are going to be closed and everything because they don't know if they're going to affect. Yeah, because of the solar flares. Yeah, it could be really intense. The thing I was watching, the scientist that Neil deGrasse, whatever his name is, he said it. They don't know if it's what it's going to do because it's supposed to be the most intense one we'll ever see in our lifetime again. Yeah. But anyway, um, I watched this one guy and he said, if you've got, and he's a scientist, he said, if you've still got the glasses and he said probably nobody does the glasses from 2017 of course we had two pairs because we keep everything and uh he said if you've got them put them on put put them both on like if you've got more, more than one pair put two pairs on and i hope not austin i got two <laughs> Too much of a mess. Um, but anyway, uh, I kept telling Kim and Colin, get some glasses, get some glasses. Now there probably won't be none left in the stores. Of course, nobody will go to the store tomorrow. But now we'll have 98, they said we're not any 96 percent darkness i don't know i hope it's really cool because i need to do something really cool because i'm like an old bored old lady you know mm -hmm. <laughs> i carry it uh -huh. <laughs> <I carry it. laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> well, my is almost gone. well you've had it for a good long time Yeah, I told Colin when he went to Walmart the other day to get me that yarn. Did you get it, buy any Easter candy? No, not Mr. Tightwad. It's good that he's tight, though, I guess. Oh, well, what can you say, you know? Mm-hmm. It is what it is. right there i've got that in that stitch and on this side i don't have it in that stitch so i'm probably screwing this thing up oh well one stitch one stitch off because i can't this god the never the stitches on the sides are never the same because of the way it does i don't know I shouldn't have kept counting. Oh, well. 20 goes into 80 four times, right? Mm -hmm. Let's start it out with that. Now it's off by one every once in a while. I guess it won't hurt. What year was it they said the world was going to end? 2012. But the Mayan camp, the Mayan calendar only went up to 2012. They said that was going to happen. I remember in 1999, we spent most of the night till after midnight. We had to go to church. 
um, because of the uh... Colin. Do you remember that? And I was a Sunday school and the chorus teach the Sunday school teacher and the um, the children's choir instructor and the Sunday school teacher too. And those dumb kids, <laughs> they're all 20, like 24 years old now uh, or older. Well, no, they're actually all well, like. I had, the, I had this chocolate in my fridge for a week. That's good. I wouldn't, if we had chocolate, it'd be gone first day because I'd eat it all. But anyway, um, when we went to church on in 1999, we had to go on the New Year's Eve. Kim's mother insisted we all go to church in case the world ended, we'd be in church. I was like, oh, geez. But yeah, those kids, no, they're, they're older than 23. Probably some of them were, I think the youngest one was five. But anyway, Colin was four. <clears throat> But um, those Tamagotchi things, mm -hmm. oh, I hated those things. Kids used to drive me nuts, and they brought them to school and everything. I Colin never had one. He didn't want one. Of course, he was really little. But um, oh, my God. I was trying to keep those kids busy. They were about to give me a nervous breakdown. I'll never forget that. And that year... No, that was 1998. I made 22 uh, costumes, Christmas costumes. We had a big nativity. And I said, if I got to do make all the, if I got to make all these costumes, because nobody else would, nobody else sewed on a sewing machine. Well, they did, but nobody had, they hadn't done it in for a long time in the church. And I was sewing all the time because I was always having craft boots booths and stuff well the pastor's wife she went out and bought a bunch of fabric and different colors different kinds of fabric because we were having we were having a live nativity scene i said if i got to make all the costumes i get to be mary she said okay and my costume was so elaborate <laughs> and kim's uncle was joseph and uh anyway i made our costumes really really good <laughs> Mine was white. It had blue, like a blue hood, like blue edging. And, uh, of course, um, the angels, I made theirs real pretty, too. This one lady did make the wings for the angels, and they were really, really neat. But I made the angels, uh, had her buy gold. She spent like three, five hundred dollars or something like that on fabric. The angels had white and gold dresses. I was so stressed out. In one month, I made 22 costumes. And let me tell you, I was shaking, having panic attacks and everything. Because all I did for a solid month was so. And I had a three-year-old. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I was four years old. I had a four-year-old. He was almost four-year-old. Oh my God, you talk about a lot of work. And the thread I use, I'm surprised I didn't wear the sewing machine out. Now I've had three sewing machines, three or four sewing machines since then. Because I used to sew on my sewing machines all the time. My brother's sewing machine, like yours, Carrie, I've got, it's in the bedroom. Now I haven't sewn on it for a while. Thought about it. I thought about doing some, sewing up some of my sock monkeys and. But, oh, God, I couldn't sit at a sewing machine with my knees. You know how you sit there for a long time since you've got your knees replaced and your knees start feeling mm -hmm. like a lock up and you're not going to yeah, be able to sit Don't forget, I have a tailbone one sore. Hmm? I have a tailbone, tail, tailbone is sore right now. Yeah. I'm sitting too long in the chair right now. Oh, but I don't want to go to sit on my bed because I may fall asleep. Oh, that's okay. If you're tired, I'll, we can get off here. Kim's wanting me to anyway. Well, I have a, that toe. It looks terrible. My whole toenail is black. You should make an appointment, Ma. Yeah, I need to. Well, I wouldn't be able to tomorrow if they're closed, but I got to, I'm going to call 
and leave a message because I'm going to tell my doctor's office I need to see the neurologist because my neuropathy is getting worse. Worse. I'm not going to wear any socks. It feels like I have socks on even when I'm barefoot. Uh, and it even hurts my feet. You know, they check me for gout because, you know, women can get gout too. It's rare, more rare, but I don't have no gout. I got, I got, I, I'm, I have to put cream on my toenails and everything right now. Well, my toenail on that, that toenail that is, I mean, it don't look right. It's like, it's, it's black. It's like, because when I, when I started to, when I hurt my leg, I bent that top of, I bent the foot back and kind of stepped, like the toes were, you know, like how a ballerina points their toes. The toes were like crunched underneath me. And, mm. but the toenail is completely, completely looks like it's growing out sideways. And then the right, a couple years ago, I uh, was sitting on the bed in the bedroom folding clothes and I went to get up and my foot slid out from underneath me and I was on my toe or I, well, I was like, my toes were folded back and I crunched my foot into Kim's gun case and it pulled my toenail off and I didn't even, and then I just got back to, the, I, I mean, I just, I wasn't completely on my butt, but my toe hit that board, that gun case so i sat back on the bed and i kept i kept um folding clothes and both of our dogs uh were licking were licking something on the floor and i thought what are you doing there was a spot of blood that big because i couldn't feel my toe when i hurt when i pulled the toenail off and they were Ooh. down there licking that blood and i stepped down in that and i thought what is that and that was my toe i had my leg crossed underneath me my right leg and I was sitting like on it and uh, cause the, the right knee, I can do a lot with that. But uh, I had knocked the toenail off and didn't even feel it. And it was pouring blood. Blood was dripping down the side of the bed and onto the floor. Ooh. And I was told to come in the bedroom and he was going, oh my God, mother, what did you do? He was freaking out. And uh, I just put a cleaned it all up, put a bandage around it. And then the next couple of days, the toenail, I pulled the toenail off because it knocked it off, but it wasn't all the way off, you know? Yeah. That's like me when I drop a can of pop right in the middle, of, you know, when you're. Yeah. The middle finger. Yeah. Well, I broke my middle toe, took the whole, put the can right through the toenail and yeah. took the toenail hanging off. Oh God. I had to go to the hospital, but they couldn't stitch it. Ooh. That's a, that's, ooh, yikes. Yeah. I was a mess. Mom, no. told, she wrote to the teacher, um, Carrie broke her toe. Um, no toenail, but <laughs> you might see some blood. So don't, don't worry. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. The teacher took me out the side and go, Carrie, what did you do? I go, I <laughs> drop a can of pop. I went to get two cans of pop and then all of a sudden um the one can fell off the edge and went right down on my foot. Oh god, I've dropped so many canned goods on my feet before in my life. My feet are tops of them are scarred all over. Especially from when I was a little kid, always dropping something on my feet or having a bike wreck or. But yeah, I just can't understand why this. The toenail is really, it's real narrow. And it's humping up like, and it's growing crooked for some reason. I guess I knocked it loose and I just can't feel it. But I've just felt a little, I just feel a little bit of pain on the, right below the four toes. And there's bruised and stuff, but, you know, I'd hate to 
if I didn't have neuropathy, I'd be able to feel the pain. I bet it would be bad. Yep. Oh, well. It is what it is. Yeah. Now, my feet are cold. I think. I'm not sure. Now, I touched it. Touching the top of my foot with my with my calf of my leg right now, and it feels real cold. But if I put the other foot on top of it, I can't feel anything. It just feels like I'm working without moving my feet without feeling my feet. It's hard to explain. But I can feel something, and because when I walk, when I I usually have, always have socks on, but I took the socks off because my feet were swollen up a little bit. And uh, I always have socks on, but I'm going to try to sleep tonight without socks. But it still feels, I mean, I, I don't know how to explain it. It still feels like I have socks on. I sleep with socks on because my feet always get cold. Yeah. I'm so tall that... Austin says, poor Noni and Carrie, we got all, yeah, we got all, thank you, Austin. We got all kinds of problems, don't we, Carrie Bear? Yeah. I've been like this since I was born. Me too. I've always had problems. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but. And it doesn't help when your brother's 16 years apart, Austin, and he's the one who starts the, um, falling over things and he taught me how to do it. Oh God. Oh. My birds were asleep. Now they're starting to wake up and get crazy. They hear me. They're like, hi, hi. You hear them? They're just going. Yep, they heard me. They're happy Jabber to hear really my up. voice. Mm -hmm. I'm my baby birdie. <laughs> Is it good for mommy? They're being real cute. They're, uh, uh oh, it's going to get crazy now. Because Big Daddy has come over there and, uh oh. He's going to start aggravating the girls. Daddy, leave I the birdies alone. <laughs> I yelled at him today. I said, leave that. I said, keep we get a Yeah, we better go, Mom. Your computer's acting up again. Yeah. It's about to die on me. Okay. Yeah, I better get because off here. I have something. to keep mine plugged in. For it to work anyway, so yeah, okay, yeah, I need to go off here anyway, so Kim will go to sleep. Okay, yeah. Carrie, well, thanks for coming up, and oh, everybody. Yeah. Well, here. I look for you on the phone. We could do that on the phone. Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah. Okay, everybody, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Yeah, mom's go computer freezing up, Come and in. she's got. Issue with God, it's spirits going through the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. It's Bye, everybody. Show, Mom. This is you. This is you, Ma. Yep. <laughs> Internet. Okay, guys. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>